What's going on everybody? It's Jamel with Focused Hands and today we're going to be looking at the knocking sound coming from the rear passenger side drum brake. Stay tuned. Does your drum brake sound like this? The moment I try to work on the car, this happens. Like it happened overnight. Anyway, let's get on with the video. All right, so what you wanna do to get into the, the bolt or to get to the, uh, the spindle nut, is you gotta get this cap off. All you wanna do is get a flathead screwdriver and just pry and twist like that, and you'll get the cap off, just like so. All right, so I made a little bit of discovery. Uh, I think that I didn't grease the brake shoes well enough, so it's it, when, when I uh, compress the brakes, when the brake pedal, I believe that it's 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 catching on probably the uh, the drum itself, and that's causing the knocking sound. So what I'm going to do, uh, and I'm going to hyperlapse through this, is I'm going to take off all of the the braking hardware, put on brand new braking hardware, uh, and go out and and obviously lubricate the uh, the the back plate points for where the shoes contact the black plate the back plate and then we'll put everything back on to go out and test it and see if that fixes the problem and if it does maybe this is a way for you to fix yours all right let's get started all right so i took all the the, the brake hardware off i'm going to apply some um, this copper anti-seize lubricant to each of the little spots to where the uh, the brake shoes are gonna, are gonna fit at or slide on or move on. And uh, then I'm gonna put everything back together and see what happens. So I just wanna point out one thing. If your wheel cylinder has fluid coming out of it, you need to change it. Uh, this could also be a sign of, uh, of the knocking. Uh, yeah, if, you, if your wheel cylinder, this is this thing here, if your wheel cylinder has leaking coming from the rubber boots, this is brand new, obviously it shouldn't, uh, you want to change this while you're in here. Uh, and the bolts are at the back here, along with the brake line, you want to go ahead and change those. Anyway, just, uh, just a heads up. All right, with the car now torqued down the spec, tires all torqued, we're gonna go drive and see if it still makes that noise. Okay, so thus far I'm in the car 
and I'm gonna I'm gonna drive around for a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna want to start to get something to drink, but it's neither here nor there. I'm going to drive around for a little bit and see if I can hear the sound when I hit on the when I step on the brakes. And if not, then it looks like it might have been some lubrication and those two clips. All right, so it's the next day. Uh, I tested the the brakes and it's still making a knocking noise. So it seems like uh, I have a, a bad uh, brake drum. So I'm here now. I'm gonna flip the video to show you where I'm at. I'm at the junkyard here. Uh, I've already collected a new used uh, brake rotor with a bearing. And I'm gonna take that and try it out and see if it works. Stay tuned. Look at this. Got a, looks like a 012 through 14 focus right here. Got a 08 through 10 right here. It's a fusion. It's a lot of, it's a lot of parts that you had for the focus out here. Anyway, on here is I've taken off the uh, old uh, drum brake, uh, drum, excuse me. And I rechecked everything in here. Everything here looks good. Springs, uh, all the springs in the right location. And that goes as far as the, uh, the emergency brake cables in the right location. Everything here looks pretty good. Kick that back over there, kick that back over there. So everything here looks pretty good. I do have another one. I'm gonna take you over to it now. I have another one that I picked up from the junkyard where I was telling you about. So I'm going to let this dry. I painted it so it'll match the other one. I'm gonna let it dry, put it on the car, and go out and check it. And uh, and I'm pretty sure that this will be the, the fix. I think I had a, a uh, out of round drum and I think the, the wheel bearings for it were bad. It was a Durago part that I got from uh, Part Geeks. And uh, I probably won't be using that brand anymore. But stay tuned. All right, so I put on the new rotor and it seems to have fixed the knocking noise coming from the passenger side rear drum. Uh, there's, there's a laundry list of things that you could try. I suggest you check the lubrication of the back plate. Check the axle, check the bearings, and check to see if the drum is in round. Uh, once again, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I've pretty much gone through all the other steps except for uh, changing the axle. I drove the car for about uh, 20 miles here, and I didn't get any any sound coming from that, any knocking noise coming from that uh, rear side passenger drum. And uh, so I'm going to call this a complete job, and. Uh, I will, I will see you in the next episode of the Ford Focus Rebuild, uh, Focus Dance. Stay tuned.